the world changed in a, in a massive way for them very, very quickly. So they all had to cope with it in different ways, all the characters, and it's interesting to see how they all cope with it in different ways. There is much, much more of an emotional life in this series, and I, I think that is, that is due to the war and it, and it changing people and their, uh, this feeling of time running out. You know, we don't know when the war is going to end. And also, we don't know whether William, William or Matthew are going to come home safely. Um, so there is this emotional, I guess, pace this year, which I certainly feel much more than last time. We pick up in the middle of 1916, um, Matthew's at the front line, um, in a fairly advanced stage of the Battle of the Somme, things aren't going very well for the British. And Matthew's changed quite a lot. I think he's, he's sort of hardened a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, that might have something to do with Lady Mary. Um, but he's also, in the meantime, met uh, his fiancée, Lavinia, who is um, a girl from London, who uh, he's met when he's been back on leave. And um, we can assume he's only met her a few times, really, but things get quite intensified in war and, and they've got together. And uh, yeah, but when we first see him, he's literally, you know, in a crater, then carrying a body across no man's land, jumping into a trench and diving into the dugout. You know, it's quite a long way from linen suit and tea on the lawn at Highclere, so, or Downton, I should say. The Cora character takes a while to, to figure out what her role is. And um, the ground is swept from under her feet. And I, the first bit of the series, she is really lost. The soldier in him is, is reawakened and, and, you know, he's dying. He's itching to get back into active service, to, to join the club again, the gang. You know, that uh, in, in, in the first episode, we see him going to a mess dinner and he feels completely at home again. And then, of course, it's, it's turned on its head and he realises he's actually just wanting, the only wanting to be a figurehead. And that's the sort of beginning of his his slide into a sense of impotence. He can't contribute to the war effort, really. Um, the house contributes to the war effort, but it, it becomes a house run by other people. <laughs> 